morning, everybody. Morning. Wednesday morning. Welcome to Workout at Home with the Dylan Twins, or Exercise at Home with Dylan Twins. We've got a great workout for you today. We've got a total body workout, so we get a bit of a warm up to begin with. Sort of four exercises a couple of times round, and then we've got a main circuit like a total body workout. So let's have a great time. I'll be doing sort of the beginning intermediate versions, which is going to be doing more complex versions, so just follow along at your level. Alright, so we're going to get started, guys. We're going to do a good morning in row. So you just lean forward, slight bend the knees, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Not too much of a bend, you're sort of tilting from the hips and through. So you're going to feel a little bit of stretch down the hamstrings, and then when you come back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, you're going to work the shoulders there. Okay? So all the way through this, we've got 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. So a bit more transition so you can get between the exercises. And that's going to be the same as the warm up and the main section. Okay, good. So you can stay standing in your feet next. We've got a nice stretch. It's called a windmill stretch. Arms in that T position. Legs straight down, just over the shoulder, and then back up to the middle. Okay? So let's get ready. Okay, so let's go. Okay, try and keep those legs straight, so only go down as far as you can until the legs want to bend. And you get the benefit to keep them straight. So you're going to get that hamstring stretch. That's good. Keep going. We're going to be on the floor for the next one. Y2W next. Again, two options, which is doing the lying down version, so lift his chest off the ground and go Y to W. I'm going to do exactly the same but on my knees. It's a little bit easier if you've got any lower back issues. So here we go. So Y, W. So squeeze those shoulder blades together. We're not trying to just go too fast like this. We're just getting that control, sort of slow, like you're putting a bar down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. So nice to date more like this one, just get loosened off and then we can increase the intensity when we get to our main section. Okay? Okay, good. Swivel hips will be next. You're sitting down. And we're just going to get a little bit of hip mobility here. So you want your feet sort of hip to shoulder width apart. And we're just going to rotate that inside knee. We're trying to get that sort of towards the ground. So again, you just go at your own pace here. Just increase that range of movement. And you're going to feel it sort of the outside of the hip here as you're coming around. That's the intention. So, this is the fourth exercise of the warm up. We're going to go back to the start after this and go one more time around. So, really more of a sort of stretch off this one, this warm up, nothing too crazy. Good morning and row. Again, you're sort of tilting from the hips, you're tilting a bit further forward now, feel down the hamstrings, and then back the core, so I'll squeeze shoulders, yeah, locking the core at the same time. Okay. Peter Birkenhead and his brother Brian working out today, both in different locations. One near Liverpool, one near Leeds. Hello? Okay, good. Alright, stay on your feet. The windmills. Okay. Do that again. Should be a little bit warmer now, so maybe it'll stretch a bit further down. So let's go. Okay, so we've got the 
Y to W now on your knees. All right, so let's get ready. Again, just Y and then swing down to that W. So let's go. So just a reminder, guys, on Friday's workout, the next workout, we're going to be starting at 11 in the morning. Okay, we'll start a bit earlier for that one. I'll remind you all at the end again. And also put up on Facebook as well before the workout so you know when it starts. So I hope you're enjoying these workouts so far. I think we've got sort of mid 40 now, the number that we've done in this lockdown period. And we're here as long as you are. Okay, guys, stop there. Last one is swivel hips. See a lot of people returning to normality now, but still some that working from home or not working at all or furloughed. Just keep on following us. All right, so swivel hips, just side to side. So if you have plenty of energy after this, this is the end of the warm up this exercise. Plenty of energy for the main section. Okay, I'll describe that when we sort of break between this one and the main section. Okay, so we've got about 40 seconds break now, so plenty of time to get some fluids on board. I'll explain what we're doing next, okay? So we've got a, a, a workout from the main section. It's 15 sex, 15 exercises, not that. 15 exercises in a row. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 15 exercises in a row, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And we've got a nice range of exercises to work the whole body. Okay, so let's really push it on those tough ones like the cardio ones and the leg ones. Let's work as hard as we can. Alright, so we'll get ready to get started in about 10 seconds. Cobra squats to begin with. Okay, both versions here can be the same. It's no sort of beginner level here. So show you the part of the legs. So we go out and then we go wide. Okay, you might be, you know, be different levels range of movement, some people get a bit lower than others. It's very important the back stays straight, not leaning forward. We get to halfway, we can speed up a little bit now, so let's go a little bit faster, but keep that technique, that range of movement. Don't sacrifice speed for technique. Okay, good. So next one, we're doing press-ups now onto your front. So again, you can do a press up on your knees or on your toes. Make sure your chest is over your hands on both versions. Elongate the body, even on the knees. Come on. So quickly show you from the side here. So down and up. Don't bring the knee too close and do that. Okay? That's not a press up. Lean back, elongate the body, get the chest over the hands. So it's almost like a plank on your hands, and then you're going down and up. It's important to use the right muscles that you're trying to work. Okay, not too fast on the press ups. You're almost there. And stop. Okay, so we've got a core one now onto your back. So it's a side crunch. <coughs> so lying on your back, bend, bend the knees, which you can have legs in the air. Hold the head with one hand, shoulders off the ground, and you rotate the torso. So let's go. So you're just rotating towards your tube, which is obviously just on the floor towards that side. So the shoulders stay off the ground, yeah? So constantly working. And what we're going to do, we're going to change arms on halfway. Okay, change arms. Nice and slow and controlled. We're going to go onto our feet for the next exercise. Okay, good. Standing up. So, frog jump, Richard's version, frog squats, my version. So, feet, again, shoulder width apart, but toes facing that 10 to 2 position. And it's down and up. Richard's doing the jump. Okay, so I'm just doing the squat. Okay, you're not dipping too low on the frog squat here. You're not going 
as low as you would a normal squat. It's more about the plyometrics of the jumping, getting some height, good quality. My version, we can go a bit faster, just get those legs fatigued. So I'm going to speed up now, but keeping the back straight, looking forward. Nearly there, and stop. Okay, recovery walk onto your backs, bridge to extension, so your legs are bent. Get your heels as close to your bottom as you can, and then basically hips off the ground, arms come back over the head, and then back to the floor. Okay, so let's go. And down. So you go at your own pace on this one. Okay, we've got another leg one coming up next, so you're going to be on your feet for the next one. Okay, standing up, it's a prisoner walk. So we're just going to go forward and back, we're going to go side to side. So you still the hands behind the head, you squat low, and then you're just walking in that low position, and then you turn around, okay? If you need a break at any stage, just come up and come back down. So let's go. So stay low, keep your back straight, looking forward. And this is an old army one, for punishment. Stay low, that's the important bit. If you get too much, come up, shake the legs off, and start again. It's quite simple this one, but it's hard. Looking up. And stop. Okay. So it's press ups again, but it's a tricep press up. So I'm doing the on the knees version. Exactly the same form as a normal press up, but your hands are closer together. Working the triceps. So you want to get the body, hands inch or two apart, and we go down and up. Now some people may not just get all the way down, it's a smaller muscle group, but just go as far as you can and back up and pulse. And then just gradually increase your range of movement over the weeks. Keep your breathing. Good. Nearly there. Stand stop. On your backs. Single leg bridge pulse. So, legs bent on your back, one heel on the knee, and you're just pulsing up as high as you can and back down again. And we'll change sides at halfway. The top half, yeah? Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm just going to do a full range of movement. But keep your bottom off the ground if you can. Okay, I'm going all the way down to about an inch from the floor, which is doing the top half. Okay, change legs. Again, the closer your heels are to your bottom, the more height you're going to get on your hips, i.e. a greater range of movement. Okay, on your fronts, so we're doing bear crawls next. Again, I'll go side to side. Which is going forward and back. Make sure your legs come to the sides when you bear pulls. Just keep the hips low, forward and backwards, okay? Let's go. Again, go as fast as you can. Superman, so on your front. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's go. Richard doing double, so his both arms and both legs are being raised at the same time. And keep your legs straight on this. Try not to bend the leg like this, not 
It's not working that lower back as much as you did. After this one, we're onto our feet again. Okay, good. We've got a static lunge coming next. I'm going to show you from the side. Back of that lunge position, down and up. Rich is going to do bottom half lunges, okay? I'll show you from the front. Let's go. So, hands on the side, hands on the hips. I'm doing that full range. Just let the front leg lead, the back leg will follow. Okay, let's change the leg back and down and up. So you can see Rich is doing those bottom half ones. You need it. Good. Core now onto your backs. Straight leg sit up. So back up and reach into the ceiling. Okay. If people are struggling with this one, we'll just bend the legs slightly and we'll just sit up like this. So I'm just showing you this slightly easier version. So the beginner, you can bring the shoulders right down and come up. Intermediate, try and keep the shoulders off the ground if you can. And then Richard's version is all the way up. Keep it going. We're standing up on this one. Okay, good. So, a boxing one, we're doing uppercuts. We want to go for power ones, so using the legs and the arms rather than really quick ones. So we're going down, up, to really get the power, but like stop yourself, so you really use your arm muscles to stop yourself. Up. And the legs, get that power up into the air. Try not to punch yourself in the face. You just choose the intensity on this one for your level. Good. Two exercises to go. One cardio, one core. We're doing mountain climbers next. Like so, up and back. Okay, let's go. So I'm stepping up and stepping back. Reaches. One leg forward, the other one comes back, so he's getting a bit more speed here. If you do my version, you choose your pace as well. Halfway. Almost there. Three, two, one, and stop. So stay on your hands and knees for the final exercise. And that's going to be thoracic rotation. So hands and knees, fingers on temples, you go elbow to elbow and looking over your shoulder. Okay, let's go. So when we get to halfway, we're going to change arms. Okay, swap over, halfway. So we'll get a break after this. Okay, brilliant. What well are folks? So that was our first time round. We've got one more time round to complete the workout. So basically 15 exercises to finish. That's good work. So you know what's coming. Make sure you work hard on those sort of leg and cardio exercises and the upper body. Then we can use the mobility ones to bring the heart rate back down and recover. Okay? Get some water on board. And I'm spinning everywhere. Alright, folks, I'll well, just uh, only 10 seconds to go. So we're starting with the Cobra squats again. 
shoulder width apart, the legs, toes forward, out and wide. Okay, just waiting. You might be a bit more of a break than this. 45 seconds on the rest. We're okay, another five seconds. That's fine, more rest. Okay, let's go. Good. Remember, you can sign up to our YouTube page. That means you can get it on TV quite easily, on the apps nowadays, on TV, smart TVs. Can be a bit easier than using the iPad or laptop. Okay, if we get to a thousand subscribers, we can go live on YouTube. And stop. Okay, on your fronts, press ups. So yeah, I'm doing the knees. Rich is doing four ones. Again, elongate that body so like you're in a plank position, and then chest is over your hands. One to two seconds down, same back up. So it's controlled. You see all these competition people doing as many press ups as they can in a minute. Techniques all over the place, and just using momentum rather than the muscle. Five seconds. And stop. Brilliant. So on your back for a side crunch. So legs bent and you're going to hold the head and pulse down to one side, changing your halfway. Okay, good. Shoulders off the ground and you're just rotating the torso. There's no up and down movement here, just a sideways rotation. Change arms. One to our feet next. Great. So standing up, frog squat, my version, or frog squat jump for the plyometric version. Let's really go for it. Do my version. Let's increase the pace this time. So feet 10 to 2. And we go. So let's just increase the pace. We're not going for the huge range of movement, it's just pumping those legs. That's good, Richard. And so we keep that same pace all the way through. As we're getting tired, keep pushing through it. Knee there. And stop. Great stuff. So lying down, a bit of recovery, bridge to extension. So get those legs bent, heels as close to your bottom as you can. And it's hips off the ground, arms over the head, and then back down. Okay, let's go. Hips off the ground, arms over the head, slowly back down. So, good range of movement. Get some lower back glute mobility and strength, but also bringing that heart rate back down. So you're going to feet for the next one. Very good. So prisoner walk, next one. If you're not struggling with the walk, you can just do Prisoner squat hold, okay? So you don't have to do the walk, but keep that back straight looking forward. I'm going to show the walk. Five down. down, stay low. Even when you turn around, stay low. So your quads are constantly working. Good. Five seconds to go. And stop. Good. Shake the legs up. Onto your front. It's a tricep press up. It's getting hands an inch or two apart. 
doing those press ups. So try and get as low as you can. Choose your level on this. You can get that plank position and slowly down and up. Keep your elbows quite close to your ribs here. Nearly there. Get tough now. And stop. All right, onto your back. Do more recovery. Single leg a bridge pulse, which is going to stay in the upper half pulses. I'm going to get that full range, but trying to keep my bottom off the ground. Let's go. So up, back. So we're going to change legs when we get to halfway. Halfway, change legs. So we've got bear crawls coming next, guys. Another cardio one, and your shoulders and legs. Let's stop. So onto your front bed pulls. I'll go side to side, but you can go forward and backwards. Nice. Let's go. So keep those hips low, legs wide. And you choose the speed. As you come backwards, you might feel a bit more front of your thighs. Ten seconds. Nearly there. And stop. Very good. So onto your fronts for Superman. Which is doing the double arms and double legs. I'm doing singles. Slow control on this one. Make sure you're breathing when you exert. So static lunge now, just standing up, one leg back, and we're up, which is doing the bottom half. Down. If you're getting a bit wobbly on this one, just bring that back leg a little bit wider, let's say you're on a train track. As long as the toes are facing forward, that's fine. Other leg back. This is going to separate the legs. Single leg exercises. We would have dominant legs that we like to prefer to use. And stop. Well done. On your back, straight leg sit up. I'm going to do the bent leg option, but I'm just pulsing up like that, which is going all the way up, reaching from the ceiling. So again, you can try and keep your shoulders off the ground. On my version, that's a bit more intermediate. If you're struggling with that, then each time you can bring your shoulders down and back up. And Rich is doing a more advanced version. So, three options suit everybody. We're going to be on to our feet next. And stop. Well done. Standing up. We're doing the uppercuts now. So again, use the legs. Push yourself up. Get that power. Then just stop yourself. So that works the biceps, back of the shoulders as well. Good 
breathing out on the exertion. Ten more seconds. And stop. All right, guys, two exercises to go. Mountain climbers are next. And then we have a stretchy one to finish. Let's so really put the effort in now. Mountain climbers coming up. All right, so let's go. Chest over the hands. Keep on going. This is your last cardio. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. All right. Last one. Hands and knees. Thoracic rotation to finish. Nice stretchy one and recovery. Fingers on temples, elbow to elbow, looking over your shoulder. That's good. Nice deep breaths. Try and get full range of movement looking over the shoulder. Change arms. And stop. Great work, folks. But let me see. That was total body circuits. Well done, guys. Whew. Good. So we're going to do a bit of stretch off in a moment. So just towel off, get some water, and then we're going to go onto our backs for a stretch off. We're doing some of the same stretches most of the time, but they are sort of key areas. All right, so just line your backs. Uh, okay, so we're going to do the glute stretch again. So outside leg from me, Richard, and we're just going to bring it round like so. So if your legs going left, try and look right, so just get that. Twist in the torso, that extra stretch. Keep your shoulders on the ground. The bells in the background. Now we're almost there. Another five seconds. Okay, slowly come out of that one. And then we'll do exactly the same on the other side. So bring it up and round. So of course, all of these workouts, we're keeping them short so they're digestible, but if you need more, just do an extra round of whatever we've been teaching you. You know, you can do as much of it as you need according to your level. Okay? So don't just think, oh, these workouts are too short, I won't do them. Just uh, add a bit on them. But just work harder. Yes, exactly. Just push yourself. Okay, stop there. All right, so onto your knees now. We're going to do a child's pose. Just done a bit of top of mountain climbers, just facing this little stretch off the lower back again. So you just bottom towards the heels and your arms are straight. So I'm just going to hold that for 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Okay, let's stop there. We're going to stay on your knees now. We're going to do a hip flexor stretch now. I'll just show you from the side. One leg forward, and you're just going to lean forward. Get that rear angle. You'll feel it at the front of the hip. When that's set up. 
Let's bring the shoulder across. So let's come around to the front chin there. Let's lean forward, bring the shoulder across. In about 10 seconds, we're just going to keep the hip flexor but bring the arm back to the tricep stretch. Okay, so let's bring that arm back down behind the body between the shoulder blades to get a good tricep stretch there. Okay, arm back over the top, tricep stretch. Alright, slowly come up, we've got one more stretch to go. Slowly up, we're just going to do the hamstring with both legs together on this one. So just keep the legs straight, and you're just going to lean down, arms straight as low as you can, and drop the head. You might stretch a bit more. Keep those legs straight, it's important. If they're bending, just come up a little bit further until the legs want to straighten again and you're getting that maximum stretch down the hamstring. So hold it for 30 seconds. Really important to get the hamstrings lengthened. Ten more seconds. Slowly come back up. All right, Richard, well done. Everyone. That was Total Up Body Circuits. Thank you for joining us. And just a reminder, uh, our next workout on Friday is going to be 11 o'clock in the morning. Again, we'll post something on Facebook for that. But in the meantime, stay safe and stay strong, and we'll see you on the next workout.